Papers to be laid on the table. Sri Jagatprakas Nadda. Sir, I rise to lay on the table of the House papers mentioned against my name at serial number one of the today's revised list of business. Sri Babul Supriyo. Sir, I rise to, with your kind permission, I rise to lay the papers on the table of the House listed against my name in today's revised list of business as item number two. Sri Vijay Goyal. Sir, with your permission, I beg to lay on the table of the House paper mentioned against my name at serial number three in today's revised list of business. Sri Sripad Yashunayak. Sir, I rise to lay on the table of the House paper mentioned against my name at the serial number four of today's revised list of business. Sri Mukhtar Abbas Nakvi. Sir, with your permission, I rise to lay on the table of the House the paper listed against my name at serial number 5 in today's revised list of business. Sri Sandosh Kumar Gangwar. Sir, I am the Pundikshit Kari Suchi Ke Kram Sankhya Chhe Par Apne Naam Ke Ullikhit Varun Ko Ma Sava Patel Par Rakta Hoon. Sri Fagan Singh Kulas Se. Sir, I am the Pundikshit Kari Suchi Ke Kram Sankhya Chhe Par Apne Naam Ke Ullikhit Varun Ko Ma Sava Patel Par Rakta Hoon. Sir, I am the Pundikshit Kari Suchi Ke Kram Sankhya Chhe Par Apne Naam Ke Ullikhit Varun Ko Ma Sava Patel Par Sri Jaya Sinha. Permission, I rise to lay on the table of the House the documents as mentioned against my name at serial number 8 in the revised list of business for today. Sri Babal Supriyo. With your kind permission, I rise to lay papers on the table of the House listed against my name at item number 8 in today's revised list of business. Sri Arjun Ram Mekhwal. Deputy Chairman, sir, with your permission, I rise to lay on the table of the House the papers mentioned against my name at the serial number 10 in the today's revised list of business. Thank you. Srimadhi Anupriya Patel. So with your permission, I rise to lay on the table of the house papers listed against my name at serial number 11 in today's revised list of business. Dr. Subhash Ramra of Bamre. So kind permission, I rise to lay on the table of the house a copy of each of the paper mentioned against my name at the serial number 12. In today's revised Message list from Lok Sabha. Sir, I beg to report that the Lok Sabha at its sitting held on the 20th March 2017 passed 1. The Appropriation Railways Bill 2017, 2. The Appropriation Railways No. 2 Bill 2017, 3. The Appropriation Bill 2017, and 4. The Appropriation No. 2 Bill 2017. The Speaker has certified that these bills are money bills within the meaning of Article 110 of the Constitution. I lay a copy of each of these bills on the table. Report of the Department of Letter Parliamentary Standing Committee on Home Affairs, Sri K. Rikman Khan. Sir, I beg to represent the 200 second report in English and Hindi of the Department of Parliamentary Standing Committee on Home Affairs on the demand for grant 2017-18 of Ministry of Donor. Report of the Department of Letter Parliamentary Standing Committee on Human Resources Development, Dr. Satyaran Jitya. Manu Sabhapati Mahoday. मैं मानव संसाधन विकास संबंधी संसदीय स्थायी समिति के निम्नलिखित प्रतिवेदन प्रस्तुत करता हूं। युवक कार्यक्रम और खेल मंत्रालय के अनुदान मांगों 2016-17 मांग संख्या छानों के संबंधित 277वें प्रतिवेदन में अंतर्विष्ट सिफारिशों समितियों पर सरकार द्वारा की गई कार्रवाई संबंधी 286 वां प्रतिवेदन। युवक कार्यक्रम और � मानव संसाधन विकास मंत्रालय की अनुदान मांगों 2017-18 मांग संख्या 88 के संबंध में 288 वां प्रतिवेदन महिला एवं बाल विकास मंत्रालय की अनुदान मांगों 2017-18 मांग संख्या 99 के संबंध में 290 वां प्रतिवेदन और स्कूली शिक्षा एवं साक्षरता विभाग मानव संसाधन विकास मंत्रालय की अनुदान मांगों 2017-18 मांग स Parliamentary Standing Committee on Chemicals and Fertilizers, Sri Narayan Lal Pancharya. Mahodaya, I am in the work of the Ankit Rasayan and Urwark Mantra, in the work of the Ankit Rasayan and Urwark Mantra, in the work of the Rasayan and Urwark Mantra, in the work of the Rasayan and Urwark Mantra, in the work of the Rasayan and Urwark Mantra, in the work of the Rasayan and Urwark Mantra, in the work of the Rasayan and Urwark Mantra. Now, my test will be raised with permission. Sir, over. मान्य एक मान्य उम्म सभापति जी मैं हमारी पार्टी ने नोटिस दिया है बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट मामला है 267 के तहत 267 
तो मैं एक मैं अपनी बात आपके माध्यम आप अपने आपके संज्ञान में लाना चाहती हूँ पूरे हाउस के संज्ञान में मैं लाना चाहती हूँ वैसे तो पूरा हाउस इस बात से अवगत है कि हमारे संविधान में लोकतंत्र की व्यवस्था है जिसके तहत लेकिन ए, एक मिनट प्लीज जिसके तहत संसद और विधानसभाओं में जो लोग चुनकर आते हैं वो जनता की पसंद के होने चाहिए ये हमारे संविधान में लोकतंत्र की व्यवस्था है ना कि ईवीएम की पसंद के होने चाहिए ना कि ईवीएम की पसंद के होने चाहिए और ये जो नई चुनाव प्रणाली है ईवीएम के तो इसके तहत तो पूर्व अपने देश में इस समय लोकतंत्र की हत्या की जा रही है सत्ता पक्ष के लोग मान्य उपसभापति जी प्लीज रिक्वेस्ट है मान्य उपसभापति जी जब मान्य उपसभापति जी जब कांग्रेस पार्टी सेंट्रो सत्ता में थी सेंट्रो में थी तो उस समय भारतीय जनता पार्टी के लोग उनके वरिष्ठ नेता लोग ये कहते थे कि ये जो नई प्रणाली है ईवीएम की तो ये इससे फ्री एंड फेयर इलेक्शन नहीं हो सकता है पुरानी जो व्यवस्था है बैलेट पेपर की वो सही व्यवस्था ये लागू होना चाहिए जब कांग्रेस वाले अच्छा। पावर में थे लेकिन अब कांग्रेस वाले लोग अब विपक्ष में है आप सुनिए बीजेपी के लोग पक्ष में सत्ता में है मायावती जी अब जरा सुनिए अब बीजेपी के लोग कहते हैं कि जो बैलेट पेपर वाली व्यवस्था वो सही नहीं है ईवीएम की व्यवस्था सही है ये क्या चल रहा है लोग सुनिए सुनिए ये मजाक चल रहा है अब जरा सुनिए सभापति जी मैं कहना चाहती हूँ उत्तर प्रदेश आप जरा सुनिए खंड में जो चुनाव हुआ है आप जरा सुनिए गड़बड़ी की गई है मेरे को जरा सुनिए हत्या की गई है मेरे को जरा सुनिए चाहती है इस के अंदर मेरे को कानून आना चाहिए इसी सत्र के अंदर कानून आना प्लीज लिसन टू मी व्यवस्था वो लागू न प्लीज ईवीएम न प्लीज लिसन टू मी विदेशों के यू लिसन टू मी ऑल्सो विदेशों के अंदर बहुत से देशों ने तो ईवीएम की जो न आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज लिसन टू मी बिकॉज लेकिन अब बिकॉज ऑलरेडी लागू उसको लेकर चल रहा है मैं सत्ता पक्ष के लोगों से अरे सुनिए चाहती हूँ जब वी आर गोइंग टू हैव शोर्ट ड्यूरेशन डिस्कशन ऑन दी इलेक्शन रिफॉर्म खराब है इसमें गड़बड़ी होती है तो मैं सत्ता पक्ष के लोगों से कहना चाहती हूँ जब इसमें लोकतंत्र की हत्या हो रही है सुनिए तो अब जरा सुनिए चाहिए और इसी सत्र जरा सुनिए प्लीज प्लीज लिसन तो उन्नीस से पहले मायावती जी प्लीज मायावती जी प्लीज लोगों का वोट डालने का मतलब नहीं होगा नाउ यू लिसन टू मी गड़बड़ हो जाएगा नाउ मायावती जी नाउ यू लिसन टू मी आई अंडरस्टैंड यू आई गोट योर पॉइंट सभी तो मायावती जी मेरे को समझ में आया अभी सुनिए हमारा सरकार से ये कहना है यदि आप दूध के अरे अभी सुनिए और आप कहते हैं कि हमने आप जरा सुनिए यूपी में सरकार बनाई है आप बैलेट पेपर से आप चुनाव करें जरा सुनिए बैलेट पेपर से
and that will take care of all his points. Therefore, no need of a discussion now. No, I am not allowing this. No need of a discussion of this subject now because tomorrow a discussion is later on the electoral reforms. When that is being discussed, all these issues can be taken up. It will cover all those things will be covered in that discussion. Therefore, therefore, I am not allowing. I am not allowing. Eh? Are kal ho jayega? Are later day? It is decided. Kal discussion ho jayega. Kal discussion ho jayega. Kal discussion ho jayega. Kal discussion ho jayega. Kal discussion. Yes. What is the point of order? Yes. Sir, 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 I will allow you. I will this. I will allow this point. I will allow you. Now, now the Guru, are you about here? Let me, let me react to the Guru saying this point of order. Yes, I will allow you also. No, let me react to that. That is a point of order. Yes, you are notice. I already told you. He is under consideration of the chairman. And listen, listen. I know, complete. Let me complete. Let me complete. There is some formalities to be completed. Uh, after that formalities being completed, you will be informed. It is not rejected. No. It is not rejected. It is not rejected. Once, uh, once the formality is completed. Sir. Yes. Yes. You will know. You will know by bulletin. You, you see. You will know, you will know by bulletin whether it is admitted or not. And after admission, now listen, after admission, now, see, no, no, I told you there are certain formalities that have to be complete. It is, it is not, see, now I will allow you, sit down. It is not an ordinary discussion, Mr. Digvijay Singhji. Now, Digvijay Singhji, you are such a senior leader. You are two time, see, you are two time chief. Now, please, please. Please, you, no, please, please, you are, no, please, please, my dear, you are two-time chief minister, two and uh, you, your motion is not that simple like a short notice question, short not, see, short duration discussion or a calling attention. Your motion is a substantive motion for which uh, Honorable Chairman has to apply the mind and take a decision. And are, Baba, there are certain formalities also in that. And we have to... There are certain formalities which is in the rules. I don't want to say it here. Here. But it is under serious consideration. You don't worry. It is under serious consideration. No. It is under point of order. Last year we have Minister discussed this. Last year we discussed Arunachal Pradesh. By discussing the Arunachal Pradesh, we discussed the Minister of the government. Minister of the government. चुनाव आयोग की निष्पक्षता पर कोई सवाल नहीं खड़ा करता। अभी एक साल पहले नीतीश कुमार बीते हैं बिहार में, ईवीएम से बीते हैं। उसके पहले अखिलेश बीते यूपी में, ईएमएम से बीते। उसके पहले बायोमेट्रिक जीती उत्तर प्रदेश में, ईवीएम से जीती। आज जब इतनी बड़ी हार हुई है, तो इस तरह की बात करना उन्होंने बार-बार आश्वस्त किया है कि ईवीएम टेक्नोलॉजिकली कंप्लीटली परफेक्ट है। तो आज जब हारे हैं, इतनी बुरी तरह से हारे हैं, वो सात हो गए हैं, ये उन्नीस हो गई हैं, वो पैंतालीस हो गए हैं, और भाजपा 403 में 325 हुई है, तो जनता के इस मतदान का सम्मान होना चाहिए। विनम्रता से मैं there are Ramesh. Honorable Deputy Chairman, sir. There are Ramesh. Sir. No, we will. Anyhow, that subject is selected for tomorrow. So we can discuss that. Sir, I don't know. No, nothing, nothing on EVM will go on record. We are discussing it tomorrow. 
अरे कल डिस्कशन होने वाले हैं दैट इज इज व्यू सर दैट इज इज व्यू टुमारो देयर इज डिस्कशन यू कॉल मी सर यस आई रिप्लाइड यू सर यू कॉल मी सर व्हेन द सेफुल्ला इनकाउंटर टू प्लेस ऑनरेबल होम मिनिस्टर हैड मेड अ स्टेटमेंट एंड यू हैड फाइनली सेड क्लेरिफिकेशन Please don't see oh, just now. Oh, that is fixed another date. Oh. Which home minister yes. mean? Yes. So when is that clarification coming yeah. regarding the Saifullah encounter? There will be. Now? Yes, there will be clarification. We will find time and do that. I can assure you, there will be clarification. So we will take the home minister when, time. When will it come, sir? sir. See. Because the whole agency is lost. No, no. It is already. I more can. Than one I week. can assure you. We will consult the home minister. No, sir, find his time. Find out his time. And we will have clarification. Sir, I can assure you. Thank you. What is your order, sir? Thank you, sir. Thank I assure you. Your order, sir. Sir, हो जाएगा. Your order, sir. Honorable, honorable. What is your problem, sir? Two days ago, I got a notice, as did other members of parliament, like Mr. Derek O'Brien and Mr. Hasib no, Singh. No, what is it? It is not a point of order. There will be a discussion tomorrow, Wednesday, the 22nd of March, on Aadhaar. Today, this morning, I got another notice saying that it has been postponed. Yeah. When I inquired from the secretariat why this important discussion on Aadhaar is being postponed, I was informed that the finance minister is unwell and he is unlikely to be present in the house tomorrow. Sir, he looks hale and hearty, no, and no. he is present in the house today. Okay. No, <laughs> is it going? To So will he be unwell tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. That is why the discussion is being postponed. No, 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 sir. No. Sir, I want to know yeah. why an item that no. has been notified it for is... discussion why no, is no. It being postponed from tomorrow? No, no. Why are we not having it tomorrow? We will come back to you. I will come back to you now. Sri Sharad Yadav. Sri Sharad Yadav. Sri Sharad Yadav. Sir. Sir. Sharad Yadav. Ah. Sir. Sharad Yadav. Sri Sharad Yadav. शरदेड Nothing else will go on record. What Sharad Jadhav says will only go on record. It is there. Zero over. Sit down. A zero over is admitted. Can you believe this? Sit down. Zero over. Hey, at that time I will allow you. At that, the Sharad Jadhav says nothing else will go on record. I have called Sharad Jadhav. Nothing else. Nothing else will go on record. Sit down. Sit down. Nothing else will go on record. No, no, I am not allowing you. Can you believe it? I am not allowing you. Sir, there is a zero over on that subject. At that time, I will allow you. Sir, 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 और उसके बजट का जो प्रावधान किया जा रहा है वो लगातार घटते जा रहा है लगातार उस पर यानी 2009 से सिर्फ 10 फीसदी हम लोग अचीव कर सके हैं सर्व शिक्षा अभियान का 90 फीसदी अभी भी ये मामला पेंडिंग है मैं आपसे निवेदन करना चाहता हूं कि जीडीपी का जो 2014 और 15 में पॉइंट फाइव था वो घट करके हो गया पॉइंट फोर सेवन यानी लगातार यदि आप देखेंगे तो इस मामले में बजट जो है वो जो शिक्षा मंत्रालय मांगता है 2015-16 में 36,331 करोड़ रुपए डिमांड किया गया मिला 28,258 करोड़ रुपए यानी बाईस फीसदी कम कर दिया और इस साल जो है वो मांगा गया 2017-18 में 55,000 करोड़ और मिला 23,500 करोड़ यानी 57 परसेंट कम हो गया लगातार ये घट रहा 
मैं आपसे के माध्यम से सरकार से निवेदन करना चाहता हूं कि यह महत्वपूर्ण मामला है यदि सदन में इस पर बहस हो जाए और यह मामला आ जाए तो ज्यादा अच्छा होगा और लगातार आपने हायर एजुकेशन में तो थोड़ा बजट बढ़ाया लेकिन इस मामले में बजट लगातार घट रहा है और जब बुनियाद ही कमजोर होगी तो ऊपर का जो हायर एजुकेशन वो कैसे पूरा हो सकता देश भर में खास करके बड़े पैमाने पर उत्तर भारत में नकल का मामला चला हुआ है ये बुनियादी शिक्षा जब बर्बाद हो गई है इसके चलते पूरे नॉर्थ इंडिया में ये नकल का प्रावधान चल रहा बच्चों को पढ़ते नहीं है कई स्कूल नहीं है किसी तरह के प्रावधान नहीं है और जब हमारी बुनियादी हिल जाएगी तो फिर यानी कोई मामला बनने वाला नहीं इसलिए हायर एजुकेशन में सरकार ने कुछ बजट बढ़ाया है लेकिन जो बुनियादी शिक्षा है सर्व शिक्षा है उसमें किसी तरह का बजट नहीं बढ़ा है मैं सरकार और आपसे निवेदन करना चाहता हूं इस मामले पे आपने इसको रिजेक्ट कर दिया यदि इस पर बहस हो जाती तो ज्यादा अच्छा था यदि मगर आप अनुमति होते इस पर कोई ना कोई इस सदन में बहस होना चाहिए यही मेरी आपसे बहस होना चाहिए तो नोटिस देना पड़ेगा सब्जेक्ट इज इम्पोर्टेंट यद मालिक शहीदों की चिताओं पे लगेंगे हर बरस मेले वतन पे मर मिटने वालों का बस यही बाकी निशान हो मैं जो आज विषय लेने जा रहा हूं सर कि हमारे सबका जो गौरव स्थान है जलियावाला बाग अमृतसर जहां पे 13 अप्रैल उन्नीस को जो पर्व है पंजाबियों का विसाखी वाले दिन शांति प्रिय लोग उस पर्व को मना रहे थे तो अंग्रेजी जनरल डायर ने उन निहत्थे उन निर्दोष देशवासियों को गोलियों से छलनी कर दिया सर वहां पे एक कुआं है जिसको हम शहीदी कुआं कहते हैं वो बे, जो बेचारे वो बैठे थे वहां बच्चे थे वहां बुजुर्ग थे वो कुआं भर गया लाशों से और उस समय इस सारे प्रकरण पे जो वहां पे हुआ रविंद्र टैगोर जी ने अपनी सर की उपाधि वापस कर दी शहीद उधम सिंह जी जिन्होंने हंसते हंसते जाके बदला लिया और शहीदी प्राप्त की सर्विस्टेंट चर्चिल ने अपना विरोध जताया ब्रिटेन में और हाउस ऑफ कॉमन्स में हाउस ऑफ कॉमन्स में भी इसकी निंदा की गई क्वीन एलिजाबेथ जब अमृतसर आई तो उन्होंने भी शोक प्रकट किया तो सर ऐसा वो स्थल जहां वो शहीद आज निद्रा में है तो हम ये नारे लगाते हैं कि शहीदों को याद करने के लिए पर मैं अफसोस से कहूंगा मैं वहां गया कि जो वहां की जो दुर्दशा मैंने देखी है मेरी आंखों में पानी आ गया सर वहां पे सर वहां पे सफाई की सर वहां पे सफाई की व्यवस्था नहीं है वहां पे जो एंटनी जी ने ऑनरेबल ऑनरेबल एंटनी जी ऑनरेबल एंटनी जी बैठे हैं ऑनरेबल एंटनी जी बैठे हैं इन्होंने उद्घाटन किया था लाइट एंड साउंड शो का सर एंट्री जी ने लाइट एंड साउंड शो का उद्घाटन किया था वहां पे डॉक्यूमेंट्री शुरू की थी वहां पे आज कुछ भी नहीं चल रहा वहां पे आज कुछ वहां पे आज कुछ भी नहीं चल रहा वहां की लाइटें वहां की लैंडस्केपिंग जो है वो खराब हो गई है वहां का ट्रस्ट मानो मृत प्राय होकर बैठा है तो मैं 11 करोड़ रुपए सर सरकार ने दिए एंटनी साहब उद्घाटन करके आए थे 11 करोड़ थे जो काम हुआ उसका हिसाब नहीं दिया ना ट्रस्ट ने दिया ना पर्यटन विकास निगम ने दिया ना कॉर्पोरेशन ने दिया आज वहां पे कुछ भी डेवलपमेंट व सफाई के सफाई सेवक भी नहीं है जो वहां दीवार है जहां बुलेट्स के निशान है वो दीवार की दुर्दशा हुई हुई है आज निवेदन करूंगा आपके माध्यम से कि वहां पे डॉक्टर महेश शर्मा जी से जो हमारी मंत्रालय है उसकी जिम्मेवारी लगाई जाए कि उस महान स्थान की देखरेख के लिए एक तो वो फंड की जांच हो और दूसरा उस महान स्थान और स्थिति टाइम और यू कैन ना प्लीज ना प्लीज प्लीज You can associate. Dikhi ho jayegi associate karo. Please. Shri Madhi Jarna Das Bhai diya. Shri Madhi Jarna Das Bhai diya.
श्रीमती जर्नदास भाई दिया यू कैन एसोसिएट दैट्स ऑल यू एसोसिएट थैंक यू सर यू यू कैन एसोसिएट सर माय जिरोवारी आई वुड लाइक टू ब्रिंग टू यू नोटिस एंड एट्रोसियस केस ऑफ एब्यूज मैं उनसे सहमत हूं ही वाज द मेयर ऑफ यू एसोसिएट ओनली दैट्स इनफ या जर्नदास भाई दिया जर्नदास भाई दिया What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I have not allowed you. They are not. No, Mr. I have not allowed you, Bajwa ji. Sit down. Nothing is going on, Raket. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. No, nothing else will go on, Raket. Why do you want? What are you doing? No, you sit down there. What are you doing? Are I called that? See, I have called that on. You sit down. I have called that on, lady member. How can you interrupt like this? Sit down, Baba. If you want, no. You, honourable member, sit down. Sit down there. You sit down there. You sit down there. This is not the way. I, I see. I tell you that is not going on record. Baba ji, sit down. You are not obeying me. What are you doing? No, 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 no. You can't do that. I cannot listen you. Sit down. What are you doing? What are you doing? There is some rules, some decorum. You sit down. What are you doing? Are you doing? Mr. Bajwa is misbehaving. This is unbecoming of a member to do like this. Sit down there. Sit down there. Sit down there. You sit down there. You sit down there, Mr. Bajwa. Sit down. You sit down. I am saying. You see, I know. Excuse me, Bajwa ji. Sit down. Excuse me. I am sorry. I am sorry. There should be at least a semblance of decorum in this house. I call that honourable lady member. She is. She is. Start. She was speaking. She started. If Bajwa ji has to say something, after she has. Uh, taken your seat no you could have stand up and ask me you could have i see i am not no don't come and sitting there i am not denying opportunity to anybody but there is a way of doing it not to interrupt her like this what you say is not going on record only what she says is not going on record then what is the use of shouting and saying something like this this is an uncultured behavior i am sorry to use that word i am i am sorry to use that uh, word but i tell you if you want to see bajwa ji if you want to talk, say something stand up and raise the hand after she said i will allow it is not the way or you can give a notice who is preventing but interrupting like this another lady mem a lady member it is not good this is not good you should at least think is, i don't want to comment on this very bad ओके या यू यू स्टार्ट अगेन भाई दिया जी यू स्टार्ट अगेन भाई दिया जी टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम आई वुड लाइक टू ब्रिंग हां भाई दिया जी स्टार्ट या स्टार्टिंग नाउ यस क्लास वायलेशन ऑफ ह्यूमन राइट्स एंड एनफोर्समेंट ऑफ प्रिमिटिव एंड फॉर बेसिक ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ फोर्स आई विल बाय यू सिट डाउन इट इज नॉट योर जॉब आई वुड लाइक टू ब्रिंग टू यू नोटिस एंड atrocious case of abuse for segregation and humiliation by the west bengal police of four young women from students federation of india and democratic youth federation of india at calcutta west bengal on 10th march 2017 moduja sendra ahana ganguli ruksha shah and ananya niyogi are student and youth activists They are 
they are arrested by the Bengal government and police along with others on March 9th. After it is over. After it is over. Hello, 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 after it is over. Sit down. March against the scam in appointments of primary schools. Many students, Not including sit down. Girls, I will allow him after this hour. You sit down. Police sit down, sit down. A few are hospitalized. You the don't worry, you are not to reply, sit down. She is saying her grievance, sit down. And the next day, I have demanded please. the police custody until 14 months. Nothing else will go on record. The way the government and police deal with the... Are you playing? Now please, by the arm. Don't do this. She has the right to say, you sit down, it is permitted, as you have the right. It is very bad that our members behave like this. Was to follow. It is permitted the by Honorable Chairman, she has to say it. To the jail at Alipur Omens. Sit down, why are you doing like this? Alipur Omens reformatory. Instead of being treated a political activist, they are subjected to illegal custodial torture. They were taking to the scarcing room. Here they were stripped and scars with consisted to highly objectionable grouping. Time over. Time over. Time over. Time over. You associate us. Time over. Point of order. Time over. By the way, time over. By the any time over. Point. Now, point of order by Sukhandar Sagar Roy. What is your point of order? Sir, my point of order. Ah, yeah. By point of order, yes. Time over, sit down. Time over, sit down. Rule 169. Rule 169. Point of order, I am allowing the point of order. Rule 169. Rule 169. And next page. Next page, sir. X I I I. One six nine, yes. Uh, one six nine, thereafter. Mm. Sub rule, yes. sub rule, X I I I. Mm. Or, or Roman 13. It, it says, as I quote, it shall not relate to a matter which is primarily the concern of the government of India. Mm. So it is the concern of the state government, and already a departmental inquiry has been ordered. How this comes on the floor of the house, how this matter can be raised? I am asking for a ruling from you, sir. But and secondly, no, no, I am not questioning the authority of the chairman. Yeah. I am not questioning, but I am inviting your attention to the rules. And the next rule, it again says, it shall not raise matter under the control of bodies or persons not primarily responsible to the government of India. So whatever the honorable member has raised, that is a matter of concern or matter related yes. to the state government. See, so I am inviting attention. To yeah, you. I understood. You are you are raising about the see, you are raising about the line of demarcation between the center and the state. But you know this line of demarcation is not that sharp. Sometimes it is little blunt also. And also, all of us are all of us are concerned about the welfare of girl students. When the subject is subject, you see. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, under, I told you. There is no ambiguity. Yeah, no ambiguity. I am only saying that. But you know there are powers, see, there are powers of the union government, there are powers of the union government which overlaps into the area of the state government, and also state government powers which overlaps into the area of the union government also. And, but in this subject, it is a subject which is a concern of all of us, welfare of girl students. Therefore it came. That's all. I am not ruling out to you technically, I am telling you. But the subject is of concern. Now, see Ram Kumar Kashyap. Mohdaya, I am going to talk to you about the government of the government and the government of 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 the of सीधी भर्ती द्वारा भरे जाने हैं और शेष 50 परसेंट पद विभागीय परीक्षा द्वारा उपप्रचारिया के पदों से भरे जाने हैं परंतु केंद्रीय विद्यालय संगठन द्वारा नियमों के एक पक्ष का पालन करते हुए 
वर्ष 2012 से वर्ष 2016 तक सीधी भर्ती द्वारा 440 प्राचार्य के पद तो भरे जा चुके हैं लेकिन भर्ती नियमों के दूसरे पक्ष को पूर्णतया नजरअंदाज कर दिया गया है वर्ष 2012 से लेकर के आज तक उप प्राचार्य से प्राचार्य के पदों पर भर्ती के लिए कोई भी विभागीय परीक्षा या पदोन्नति नहीं की गई है जो स्पष्ट रूप से केंद्रीय विद्यालय संगठन के भर्ती नियमों का उल्लंघन है जिसके कारण बहुत से प्रचार्य बिना पदोन्नति के सेवा निवृत्त हो चुके हैं और कार्यरत उप प्रचार्य उदासीनता का शिकार हो रहे हैं इससे शिक्षा भी प्रभावित हो रही है दूसरी ओर केंद्रीय विद्यालय संगठन द्वारा लगातार पांच वर्षों से पदोन्नति न करना व चार वर्षों से विभाग परीक्षा न लेना अपने आप में विभाग की कार्यशैली पर प्रश्न चिन्ह लगाता है अतः मेरा सरकार से नम्र निवेदन है कि इस विषय की गंभीरता को देखते हुए इस विषय पर न्याय संगत संज्ञान लेकर यथाशीघ्र हस्तक्षेप कर उपचारियों को उनकी प्राप्य पदोन्नति का अधिकार प्रदान कर उन्हें उदासीनता से तुरंत उभरने का कार्य किया जाए उपचारियों को न्याय प्रदान करने से उनके शिक्षण कार्य की गुणवत्ता भी बढ़ेगी क्योंकि जब व्यक्ति को उसके अधिकारों से वंचित किया जाता है तो उसकी क्षमता प्रभावित होती है जय हिंद जय भारत थैंक यू वेरी मच श्री रामनाथ ठाकुर श्री रामनाथ ठाकुर सुविधाओं के विस्तार के लिए वर्ष 2006 में देश के विभिन्न राज्यों में विभिन्न स्थानों पर एम्स जैसे संस्थान स्थापित करने की घोषणा की लोगों में अपार हर्ष था बिहार के पटना में भी एम्स स्थापित करने की घोषणा की गई है क्योंकि बिहार में स्वास्थ्य सुविधाओं का विशेष रूप से सुपर स्पेशलिस्ट सुविधाओं का अभाव है और अधिकांश रोगियों को बेहतर इलाज के लिए दिल्ली एम्स रेफर किया जाता है अतः लोगों में यह आस जगी कि अगर एम्स जैसा संस्थान पटना से ही हो जाएगा तो दिल्ली में आकर इलाज कराने की कष्टदायक स्थिति से बच जाएंगे लेकिन उपसभापति जी बहुत दुख के साथ कहना पड़ रहा है कि पटना में एम्स की स्थापना दिवा स्वप्न ही रह गई है एम्स घोषणा की गई वर्ष 2006 में जबकि निर्माण प्रारंभ हुआ 2009-10 में अभी भी उपकरण खरीद की प्रक्रिया ही चल रही है यह संस्थान दावा दावा करता है कि लगभग 60 प्रतिशत उपकरण खरीद का काम पूरा हो गया है मानव संसाधन की कमी सबसे बड़ी बाधा है विशेष रूप से सीनियर और जूनियर एजिडेंट यद्यपि सभी स्तरों पर एम्स दिल्ली के समान वेतन देने का प्रावधान है तथापि एम्स पटना में फैकल्टी के लिए मात्र इक्कीस प्रतिशत पद ही भरे हैं अगस्त 2014 में एम का तीसरा बैच प्रारंभ हुआ फिर भी एम्स पटना में एम के तैतीस पद खाली रह गए हैं कौन जाएगा पढ़ने के लिए जब टीचर ही पढ़ाने के लिए अधिकांश सुपर स्पेशलिटी अभी भी चालू नहीं है कार्डियोलॉजी नेफ्रोलॉजी इंडोक्रोनोलॉजी न्यूरो सर्जरी वर्ण और प्लास्टिक सर्जरी विभाग अभी तक शुरू नहीं हुआ है और तो और एम्स पटना में लेबर रूम और ब्लड बैंक नहीं है आपत सेवाओं की व्यवस्था नहीं है आबादी इतनी बड़ी है उसके लिए एक एक्सरे है लेकिन सी स्कैन और एम की सुविधा नहीं है हॉस्टल सुविधा का घोर अभाव है पहले साल में छात्रों को लिखित ट्रेनिंग दी जानी चाहिए रोगी ही नहीं आते क्योंकि सुविधाएं नहीं हैं तो छात्र कैसे पढ़ाई करेंगे और क्या सीखेंगे 2009 के बाद से प्रत्येक वर्ष 800 करोड़ रुपया का बजट प्रावधान किया गया है ताकि देश में एम जैसे और सुपर स्पेशलिस्ट संस्थान शिक्षण संस्थान बना सके और राज्य के सरकारी अस्पतालों का उन्नयन हो सके इस राशि में से छह एम्स और दर्जनों राज्य सरकार के अस्पतालों को दिया जाता था दिसंबर तेरह तक लगभग 50 करोड़ रुपए प्रति वर्ष इस संस्थाओं को दिया गया है एक एम्स को पूरा करने के लिए 1200 से 1400 करोड़ रुपए की आवश्यकता है और आवंटन मात्र 50 करोड़ रुपए प्रति वर्ष है प्रधानमंत्री स्वास्थ्य सुरक्षा योजना की बैठक में इसकी प्रगति की समीक्षा के दौरान खुलासा हुआ इस वर्ष टाइम ओवर टाइम ओवर टाइम ओवर ओके यस डॉक्टर विनय सहसर बुद्धे डॉक्टर विनय टाइम ओवर यस सर ऑल दोस्ट एसोसिएट विल बी आर्डर
sir, all those who associate will be sir, added. Sir, 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 sir. Yeah, Dr. Vinay Sahasrabuddha, nothing sir, else will go on record. Mr. 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 Thakur, sit down. Mr. Thakur, sit down, it is over. Thakur, you are talking. Sir, my no, time is not going on record. Eaten, sir. Yeah, my sir. time is being eaten. Sir. Yeah, yeah, you start, sir. Yeah. Please. Mr. Yes. Deputy Chairman, sir, I am raising a very important issue, sir. Sir, I am raising a very important issue which is rarely discussed and much less researched, let alone documented. Now, please listen to this. Yes. We have already celebrated the International Women's Day, but unfortunately, as a society, we are yet to overcome the traditional social mindset of preferring male child over female. This mindset leads many couples, especially in rural areas, to consume medicines in their quest for a male child, and what happens in the process is havoc with the unborn child. Sir, in our society, yearning for male child is commonplace. This particular son preference mindset leads to many married couples to hunt for medicines that they believe would ensure the birth of a male child. This often leads to indiscriminate usage of bhasma, powder, jadi booty, which actually contains exogenous hormones like testosterone, steroids, etc., that can result in miscarriages, birth of babies with birth defects, babies with ambiguous genitalia or disorder in sex development or intersex, and even maternal deaths in some cases. Sir, sex determination is, or sex selection, in addition to being illegal, can pose a serious threat to the mother when done in unlicensed clinics by untrained personnel and in unsterile conditions. According to an unofficial estimate, out of 100 babies born with genital deformity, only three are due to some natural disorder where consumption of medicines have, have had no role to play. All the rest, 97, are thanks to medicines consumed to en ensure the birth of a male child. Often, this leads to babies born with ambiguous genitalia, and this poses a social emergency. The condition of their genital organs confuses the doctors, and they advise restraint before proclaiming the sex or gender of the newborn. However, parents understand, understandably are in a hurry and they declare regardless of any conclusive evidence. Most often, these babies are considered a social taboo and many a times are abandoned by the family in dustbins or handed over to the hijra community without any proper diagnosis. Sir, this is, there is absolute lack of awareness about treatment available for those, these conditions and very few specialist doctors and premier institutions only are capable of training in com are, are having trained comprehensive management of these children. Many investigations are expensive and are not within the reach of the masses. Team approach is required for this in their management, involving pediatricians, pediatric surgeons. Okay. Yeah. All time over. Yes. Government, I think should. Yes. Yes. I agree with you. Government should take serious note of this. Honorable Health Minister is here because this furious illegal method being we'll practiced. It. Yes. We'll look into it. Yeah, do something. That is very. Now, Dr. Pradeep Kumar Balmuchu. Dr. Pradeep Kumar Balmuchu. Dr. Pradeep Kumar Balmuchu. Yes. I am going to say that 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 I am पिछले महीनों जमीन को लेकर अलग-अलग स्थानों में तीन स्थानों में गोलियां चली पहला रामगढ़ में जमीन को लेकर दो लोग मारे गए पुलिस के द्वारा फिर हजारीबाग बड़का गांव में पुलिस के द्वारा ग्रामीणों पर फायरिंग की गई चार लोग मारे गए और उसी तरह फिर खूटी में पुलिस के द्वारा गोली से एक ग्रामीण मारे गए ये जो जमीन से जो लड़ाई चल रही है ये सिर्फ और सिर्फ जो सीएनटी और एसपीटी एक्ट जो राज्य सरकार ने संशोधन किया जिसके चलते जो आदिवासी और मूलवासियों की जमीन है उसको ट्रांसफर उद्योगपतियों को करने के लिए एक रास्ता बना दिया और इसके चलते पूरा का पूरा झारखंड जल रहा है और सरकार पूरी तरह से ताकत लगाकर उसको दबाने का प्रयास कर रही है अभी ये सीएनटी एस्पेक्ट रहने के बाद भी 
रांची में ट्राइबलों की जमीन सब समाप्त हो गई सब लोग कहा चले गए पता नहीं और ये एक्ट होने के बाद तो जमीन औने पौने दाम में उद्योगपतियों को ट्रांसफर कर दिया जा रहा है इसलिए मैं आपसे आपके माध्यम से अनुरोध करना चाहता हूं कि सरकार अपनी ताकत आंदोलन तो चल रहा है मगर आपके माध्यम से अनुरोध करना चाहता हूं कि सरकार इस पर अंकुश लगाए कि उद्योगपतियों पर आदिवासियों की जमीन जो ट्रांसफर किया जा रहा है औने पौने दाम में इस पर रोक लगाए धन्यवाद All the names will be added. All the names will be added. Sir, it's Ritu Chiba. All the names will be added. Uh, thank you, Deputy Chairman, sir. Sir, uh, before the killing of Bridgeo, a Tamil Nadu fisherman by the Sri Lankan Navy, the furor has settled. There are lot of Indian fishermen, specifically from Tamil Nadu, are languishing in the prisons abroad, sir. Thirty-seven of them are currently in the custody of Iranian government. For staying into the country's waters, sir, five of them were working in Saudi Arabia, and 15 of them in Bahrain, and the remaining in Dubai. They were arrested on August 6th, followed by the Bahrain-based group on October 22nd, and finally the group from Dubai in January this year, sir. Sir, after spending a few days in jail, they were all shifted to boats in two ports, Kish Island and Bandar Abbas where they remain under strict surveillance of the authorities with little food or water. This despite the fact that the fines that the court has, the Iranian court has ordered have already been paid, sir. Sir, Mr. Satya Sagar Vijaya Babu, one of the captives, he said, he says that fears they may all starve to death if the Indian government does not act quickly to get them home. We were taken into custody, jailed and then moved to the boats. Every morning, the officials come to the boat, make a stand in line, count heads and leave. That is it. They are not at all bothered about our food or water. Many days we go sleep hungry. Sir, the Bahrain, uh, the embassy, Indian embassy in Bahrain and the employer have intervened, sir. They have paid 10 lakh per boat to release them and the fines which have been ordered by the court has also been met with, sir. Even then, these fishermen have not yet been released. Whereas in February 20th, the embassy of Bahrain has written a letter to the embassy of Tehran uh, to uh, the, taking up this matter. Since the uh, court orders have been met with, why the fishermen have not yet been released? So far, nothing is said. Only sending and receiving letters are happening. No clue or where the block is, no one is aware of. Uh, an, an NGO has filed official complaint with the government on behalf of the fishermen family but clueless why they have not yet been released. Sir, there are 34 of them, all from Kanyakumari, Ramnathapuram and Thirunal Veli, sir. The relatives of those districts have met the collector as well as they have sent petitions to the fisheries ministry also. Nothing has happened. So, sir, what is the issue? Who will issue the order? The state government and the central government has to issue the orders. Even after they have both been informed, there is no action. Are we not Tamilians? Are we not Indians? Should we die here? He is the plea of one of the captives there who has sent a, a video copy of his speech, sir. This has reached here and the families solicit nothing, sir. Kindly rescue our breadwinners. Sir, Indian fishermen or Tamil Nadu fishermen, they are abroad, yes, sir, time, in jail for over. too many days. Time over. Thank time you, over. I think, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I think uh, Mr. Naku will convey this to the Honorable Exchange Affairs Minister. Okay. For whatever possible action. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Sri Mudugar. Uh, Sri Mudugarapan. Yes. Mudugarapan. Not you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Do needful regarding power ministry and the nuclear power in the state of Tamil Nadu. The Chennai was affected with the Varada cyclone and power infrastructures were damaged totally. I urge the government of India to release 17,000 crore rupees to enhance power infrastructure. The amount may be considered as grant or soft loan to the state of Tamil Nadu. Again, the conversion of 230 kV transmission over headlines into 230 kV underground cables need to be expedited to facilitate urban growth in the limits of Greater Corporation of Chennai. The state of Tamil Nadu also sought rupees 1093.27 crores for carrying out 
restoration works to electrical infrastructures that was damaged in the Varda cyclone. The Cheyur Ultra Mega Power Projects, the state of Tamil Nadu has sought, aid in finalizing of bidding documents with an option to use domestic coal so that cost of the power be brought down. Again, the Kodam Kodam Nuclear Power Project, sir. This project is situated in my own district in Tamil Nadu, sir. In the early years, this project was refused by so many neighboring states. The state of Tamil Nadu has boldly allowed this project, sir. The commissioning of first unit, first unit, the state government faced so many land order problems against nuclear power protesters. The state government deployed 10,000 police personnel to maintain land order to commission the project, sir. About more than 183 FIR has been registered against the protesters, sir. And one inspector general of police and DH was also insured, sir. But there was no lucky charge was made, sir. My leader, Honorable Amas, able guidance and administration, this was happened, sir. The first unit and second unit successfully commissioned. We are getting 50% share power on it, sir. When third unit and fourth unit are going to commission, the state of Tamil Nadu needs the entire 2,000 megawatt power because state of Tamil Nadu taken much effort and much pain, sir. And also, sir, Tamil Nadu is the leader in renewable energy in the country, and it has. It has an installed capacity of over 10,000 megawatt of renewable energy, of which wind power contributes about 7,700 megawatt. I urge the government up to speed up the process of establishing interstate green energy corridor at the earliest to evacuate surplus wind power as requested by former Chief Minister, my leader, Honorable Purachi Telavi Amma, to facilitate sale of surplus wind power to the needy states. Time over, time over. That's all right. Time over. Sri, Sri Naresh Agarwal? No. Sri Sanjeev Kumar? No. Sri D. Raja? Sir, thank you, sir. Uh, scores of uh, farmers from Tamil Nadu have come to the national capital and they are agitating at Jantar Mantar more than a week. Sir, not only these farmers, but uh, farmers in different parts of Tamil Nadu are agitating on very serious, genuine issues. Tamil Nadu is in uh, grip of uh, severe drought, and uh, drinking water <coughs> itself has become an acute problem in the state of Tamil Nadu. Agriculture is in a deep crisis and distress. Farmers are passing through huge indebtedness and they are not able to pay back their uh, loans, their debt. They are not getting remunerative price. And they are agitating, they are demanding their uh, loans must be waived off and uh, they must get MSP, they must get remunerative price. Sir, there are farmers agitating in Pudukote district of Tamil Nadu. They are agitating against the proposed hydrocarbon project and uh, which they fear it will deplete the available uh, groundwater in that part of the state. And uh, the farmers in western part of Tamil Nadu are agitating against gale laying pipelines uh, in the cultivable land which they fear they will lose their cultivable land. And sir, because of huge drought and because of non-availability of water, the river water disputes are yet to be settled and uh, the Tamil Nadu farmers are demanding the Kaveri Water Management Board should be constituted without any further delay. I urge upon the central government with its powers, it can say no to hydrocarbon project, it can say no to laying the gas pipelines in the cultivable land in western part of Tamil Nadu. The central government can take decision and instruct the, the public sector banks to weigh off the loans of the farmers. 
and farmers must get some relief sir on one side government talks about development when agriculture is in such a deep crisis how we can think of development agriculture is the backbone of our economy and economy will collapse so i urge upon the government understand the grievance understand the grave situation in tamil nadu understand the problems of our farmers which are very genuine which are very justified and i urge upon the government to do something it is not too late government can can take a decision and help the farmers okay. and help agriculture in tamil nadu okay yes can you meet your associates yeah tamil nadu associates vidila associates yes associate cp no time there is shortage of time i have just very short one See, no no on this you are associating no, no, i am uh, raising a point of order are by say it's important sir point of order just take 10 seconds no after kanimadi one sentence you put one sentence and then yes, sir. please sir, you support associate no, that's all sir, sir we met the farmers some of them say they have a loan of up to 28 lakhs sir they want to just meet the finance minister and talk about these issues and represent okay. their problems to him they are not getting an appointment they've been here yeah. on the street for nakuji, delhi nakuji. for a week take sir. care of this no take you will take care of it okay 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 you yeah. take care condom yeah. on farmers day no yeah yeah see there are is very active in condom yeah yeah ana sharma ji there, there are only 6 minutes and 2 two, po- two zero hour submission sir, if it is not very urgent don't raise it it is urgent sir Huh. sir i am drawing your attention to the revised list of business for today sir it is point of order sir this is uh, yesterday also i had raised it now there is a unfinished discussion on the union budget that will be Which taken conclude yeah first, sir. we will take sir, it there now now uh, sir today the calling attention motion on matter of urgent public importance that will take we taken up at 2 o'clock no 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 but second thing is a bill has been listed before the discussion no 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 don't worry about. don't worry you don't worry about that so priority, we will take up we will take up discussion we'll take, uh, calling sir. attention may be postponed and we will take up the, there is enough time don't worry about that now cp for any point of order point of order you on in the evening the honorable member of the leader of the admk group was speaking the chair asked him as to when are you going to complete but the member said that the chair has no right to interfere intervene in my speech that was unbecoming of a member and the it is a disrespect to the chair the chair should take action against the member and see that the chair is not disrespected a genuine request by no, the no, member that, that is not the way sir there were certain discussions so yes there were altercations between the chair and the member i want to this. tell and uh, but oh, the chair should go through the records and see what can be done because i don't want to explain the entire thing there were commotions there were altercations there were see the members expression was to uh, Uh, what i can say is will not uh, oblige to the chair's orders that attitude okay, is yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which i want to say shiva shiva uh. sir actually this member was not present yesterday when i was in the chair i just asked how much more time you want nothing more than that because he spoken more than 20 minutes and two other members in his party were left with 12 minutes or 13 minutes so i asked how much more time you want that's all sir i asked he said the chair cannot intervene even if i am bigger dad nothing i am out of come all this thing i said don't cast aspersions on the chair and this is most unbecoming he said if the chair is becoming uncoming becoming why not uh, the member and you can go into the record sir i will all go, these okay i will go through the video and uh, i reserve my observation after going through the video i'll come back to the house with my observation on this dignity of yes. the house uh, yes. i agree foremost, with sir. you i'll come back to the house dignity on this of the i'll come back to the house sir. yes yes smriti rani ji what do you want sir i i on a happy yeah. note would like to say something with your permission yeah yeah please the parsi community's dedicated service and contribution to our country is undisputed today the community celebrates its new year and it prays for good tidings and uh, good health and prosperity for everybody so with the permission of the chair and the house let us all wish the parsi community and people at large yeah, yeah, yeah. mubarak hey, we all of you agree with you 
all of us agree with you. Agree with you. No problem in that. And, uh, uh, and uh, with regard to this point uh, raised by, oh, it's already question hour. It's time.